Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Gold's Bible. King Gamer here. Arsenal 3, Liverpool 1. That is a solid, solid win by Arsenal. They completely deserve to win this game. Saka with the first goal. And Martinelli and Chaucer just put this game to bed. And look, second defeat here now for Liverpool. This is their second defeat. You look at the match and I think Arsenal... First half completely dominated the game. First half completely dominated the game and somehow, just somehow, the game was 1-1. They don't deserve to go into halftime with a draw, really. They deserve to just cement uh, a win in that first half, but they didn't. They didn't and that's one of the uh, Achilles heel for Arsenal. They just don't, uh, even when they dominate games, they just don't cement their position and they nearly paid for it today. They nearly, uh, nearly paid for it today. Uh, first half, Liverpool just completely struggled. They struggled to control Arsenal. Saka on the on the on the on the right, Martinelli on the left. They just caused them a lot of issues, and just Liverpool just could not deal with it. They couldn't deal with it, and somehow they survived the first half. Went to the first half 1-1 with the soccer goal that Gabriel uh, puts it in his own net for Liverpool. And then the second half, I, I thought actually Liverpool uh, played better in the second half. They played better and then they did the same thing that Arsenal did, which is a calamity. At the back, the goalkeeper, Alisson and Van Dijk, they just were so confused. Alisson came out and completely missed the ball and Martinelli just found a wide open goal. Uh, just to tap it home, really. And from there on, I think Arsenal uh, controlled the game uh, in the second half. After 67 minutes, they, they controlled the game and they, they basically put the icing on the cake with Trossard's uh, finish in the 92nd minute. I'm going to quickly show you guys the um, the stats here. You're looking at the, the stats here. I mean, 43% for Arsenal and 57% for Liverpool. Uh, yes, Liverpool played down a man. Kanate was sent off later on to, uh, in the game. But you look at the map, you look at the, the amount of shots. You can see that Arsenal have dominated. 15 shots, 7 shots on target. They created 6 big chances in this game and they just didn't take most of their chances. They did not take most of their, their chances in this match. But all in all, really, really good uh, game for Arsenal. And now I'm going to quickly show you guys what the table looks like. So as you can see, Liverpool now 23 games, 51 points. Arsenal 49 uh, points. As you can see right here, they played 23 games. So they just closed the gap on Liverpool with just two points. Manchester City, of course, they have two games remaining. If they do win uh, those two games, they will be in 52. So they're going to be up top. So again, Manchester City with a big opportunity here. Uh, to claim the top position. But look, man of the match for this game. Who are you guys going to say? Let me know in the comment sections. It has to be, I think it has to be uh, Saka. I'm going to give it to Saka. It does look like he is a man of the match here as well. I'm definitely going to give him uh, the man of the match. First goal came from Saka. Havertz threw on goal, missed it, the opportunity, but Saka puts it in. And Saka, although I think he caused a lot of problems uh, in this Liverpool side, they just couldn't deal with him, him and Martinelli. It could have been any of those two, but I would go with Saka. You guys let me know in the comment sections. Who is your man of the match? And yeah, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Make sure, make sure you leave your comments saying that who should be man of the match. How far do you see Arsenal going? Can they win the Premier League? Let me know in the comment sections. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you. Peace.